I'm a general internist, a primary care doctor, um, and I'm a professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School in the Division of General Internal Medicine. And I've been doing research in smoking cessation and now vaping cessation um, for decades. So um, what we were, what we know is that an increasing number of adults, especially young adults, are using e-cigarettes. They're vaping nicotine. So I'm going to use those terms interchangeably, vaping and and using e-cigarettes. And what we know is that a lot of them would don't want to be doing it. They realize they're nicotine addicted and they'd like to stop. Um, and many of them are trying. Some studies say as many as half are trying every year, but there a lot of them are having trouble. Some of them succeed, but many of them have trouble and they need help. And essentially, we know nothing about how to help people quit vaping or, or almost nothing. There are a couple of studies that have used text messaging programs, behavioral support that have found that to be effective. Um, and there was a recent trial in Italy uh, of showing that varenicline, which is also known as Chantix, um, is, which is a smoking cessation medicine, works for vaping cessation as well. Um, a lot of people are using nicotine replacement products, uh, but we don't have any data yet to show that they're effective. Um, so we're just using them, assuming that if it works for smoking cessation, it'll probably work for vaping cessation because both of them uh, have the problem of curing nicotine addiction. So um, cytosine is this new product that we have that was has been is being developed in the United States for smoking cessation. It's not FDA approved at this point, um, but it has been available for decades as a consumer product in Eastern and Central Europe, and more recently came on the market is actually uh, a consumer product in Canada now, and it's on the market in um, uh, in in Britain as well. So it's widely used, but it's not available in the U.S. And it works in the same way as varenicline or Chantix does in the brain to help um, make help cure nicotine addiction and make it easier for people to stop uh, doing whatever way they're getting nicotine. And so um, we thought, well, gosh, we did it. The, I was part of a trial. I led a trial that showed that this medicine works in the United States to help people quit smoking, and that was published just last summer. And so we were thinking, well, you know, if it helps one kind of nicotine addiction, maybe it would help another. And uh, we recognized the need to help people quit vaping. And so that's why we decided to do a what is a fairly small clinical trial um, to see whether there was a signal that we would then follow up on with a full-scale trial. So we, um, so we enrolled 160 people and randomized them uh, in a two-to-one fashion to either getting 12 weeks of this medicine, which you take three times a day, or an uh, identical placebo, and uh, asked them to and gave them behavioral support to quit smoking, as well, uh, and then looked at the end of the tr you know measured the every week, and at the end of the trial we found that. Um, uh, more people who were getting the active drug were quitting vaping compared to those who were getting placebo. Uh, the difference was uh, about 32% of people uh, in the who got cytosinicline uh, quits were not vaping for the last four weeks of the trial, which was weeks 9, 10, 11, and 12, and um, compared to 15% in the placebo group. So it was more than a doubling. And um, so that was very encouraging. And at each week, there were more people who were uh, not vaping when we looked at every single week. Now, we did follow it up for four weeks after we stopped giving the medicine. And we found that um, there was relapse in both groups, but more in the, in the cytosinicline group. And so at the four weeks later point, which was week 16, there were um, the, the difference was not just statistically significant, but there was still um, a considerable difference. Um, and we interpreted that to say that it was partly, it was a lot of it was that a simple sample size issue. We had a small trial. Um, and we think that this implant, what this, I think, 
contributes is that it gives us a signal that this probably would work, but we need to do a larger trial and follow people longer to make sure that not only does it help them to stop vaping while they're taking it, but that it continues to help if they after the treatment ends.